Like giving us way too much time to be weird. <laughs> Breathing. <laughs> Guys, welcome to the episode of Into the West Comics. My name is Frank. The hot dog corn dog Paul is here. I'm here. And he has a girlfriend. Oh, Jesus Christ. Before we go any further. <laughs> I can't avoid that. He was getting hit on an unnamed un- sports show today I in the comments. I did get you hit on an unnamed sports Very show. handsome. Yes. Oh. It wasn't you or Dre saying that. No, no, no. No. Okay, good. Um... I mean, Quan read it, so he did say it. Okay. <laughs> Uncle Nephew Shane is here. He's back from the wedding. You're back from WrestleMania weekend. You're recovering <laughs> from everything. Yeah, I'm, I'm, uh, I'm back. You're and fresh I'm, and I'm new. refreshed. I'm uh, ready to go. This is the, the uh, more sober me. Oh, no kidding. Because, you know, I overdid it <laughs> at, a, at the wedding. You, you, last week you guys At the wedding me. you overdid it? Wedding. Yeah. Maybe so, a weekend you didn't overdo it. So, <laughs> No, that's what I want to talk about. You just did it. uh, Yeah, I just did it. So I went to uh, Shane's house on a... Night night night. one. Night one. I guess about it. She was there live. Uh, And uh, I think I just got yelled at for like 10 minutes straight right before I left. Oh, you did. No, like... Oh, oh, I absolutely did. did not. It wasn't... Like, it was all in good fun. In anger. It yeah, was just yeah, it was goof. It was Shane goofy. was a little loose and everything he said was very <laughs> a loud. A little loose. <laughs> of course I was loud. Anyways. Please welcome our special guest. She just had a WrestleMania experience to uh, you know, blow everybody's socks off. Um, she is yeah. the tri state tribal chief. <laughs> yeah. Please <laughs> welcome all the way the- from Cloud City, into our dreams. Get out of our car and into our dreams. Wait a minute, like our <laughs> the dreams. Other way. Get, get, get out of my trouble. <laughs> so you keep going? Please welcome. He acknowledge won't. her. I acknowledge Please her. welcome. Tessa Gray is here. First things first. <laughs> Nobody, you can't. I'm sorry for the introduction. The, I'm sorry you. for. Oh, you're putting your finger in the air like acknowledge it. Okay. Yeah. Acknowledge her. Acknowledge her. Um, how was WrestleMania weekend? Or was uh, you were, you were there on Saturday, right? Yeah, just the Saturday. Uh, I gotta say, I love a show where I come on and it's like first thing. I'm sorry. I'm <laughs> sorry for speaking. We apologize uh, regularly. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> uh, WrestleMania was sick, dude. It was great. Uh, it was in Philly, and I'm like half an hour from Philly. Uh, it was actually a holiday present for my dad. So I got tickets from him, and my friend Matt and I went up, and we went to comic shops and food places all day, and then at the end of the day, we did WrestleMania. Uh, Can you imagine, Frank, luckiest woman in the world? Huh? Yeah, you got to go to WrestleMania. I spent the day with these Shame. guys. <laughs> I saw it. We had a great time. Uh, still, it's not the same. Yeah, while uh, we parked at the stadium, and then we took the little train into Philly and, like, you know, frolicked around there. Oh, and sure. while we're on the frolic. train on the way back that was, like, full of people going to WrestleMania, Matt was like, oh, yeah, this is one of the reasons I never wanted to go to a wrestling show again in my life. I hate this, and I've never wanted to do another one. And I was like, why? 
Why am I taking you to WrestleMania? I could have taken someone else to WrestleMania. <laughs> could have taken Shane. <laughs> yeah, you could have yeah, taken, okay. taken Shane. Yeah. Uh, I would have had a great time. Yeah. You probably would have lost him, but you would probably yeah. take him. Yeah. Maybe next year, it's in, it's it's rumored to be in Minneapolis next year. So maybe, Ooh. you know, we'll do the con tour and then we could do WrestleMania weekend, a little meetup. That might sure. be something. How much Alex Brooks for tickets to That's, WrestleMania? I mean, they're, they're, they're money. They're money. <laughs> they cost money. a few dollars. I figured as much. Yeah, more than 10. <laughs> Let's just but that. less than mm. 900? A grand? No, it's probably a grip. Uh, There's more of a grip than that. I'm cheap. That's why I didn't buy my own. Uh, gotcha. That's the way to do Us it. Too. Yeah. You know what we do? We just sneak in. What we do? We, 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 no, what, we, we formulate what, a plan. No, what we, we do in. is we all hang out in Shane's living room and watch it. That's what we do. It's almost as good. And I mean, then Paul gets yelled at, and then later Shane's wife yells at all of us. <laughs> I left before that happened. I wasn't yeah. there for that. Not we all did. of us get to go to Shane's. Uh, not Quan. Yeah, you not weren't Quan. in town. No. Wait, you left before the end of the show? No, no, no. The show ended. I just, okay. well, what's the show? Shane or WrestleMania? <laughs> no, no. He saw the whole WrestleMania. Because if Shane is the show, then I left before the end of the show. <laughs> well, we were, we, I was imbibed. No, he left. Way. We were there for another I hour. Watched the yeah, another no, hour. Yeah. I mean, when you left, we were there for another hour and a half. Yeah. And then we're getting the look. To yeah. Me? And then my wife comes down and gives everyone the look. <laughs> like, they're still here? Yeah, they're still here. But... She seemed very with it when I left. Yeah, she's cool. See, yeah, I left right at the right time. You left the right. You left. You left. I didn't. I didn't overstay my yeah. welcome. She, she was like, "Good night, Paul." Anyways, enough Shane's <laughs> living room Everybody talk. Everybody else. Tessa, how um, how is the new shop is open? The third store. Congratulations on that. Thank you. Congrats. How is it going? Uh, how how are things? Are you guys moved in? Does it still have the uh, new car smell? It does definitely have the new car smell. Uh, we're still like kind of slowly adding stuff there just because it takes a lot of time. Like we still haven't hung up art yet, uh, but it's been open for about three weeks now. Cool. Uh, it is Very blowing cool. away all expectations. Uh, I think we moved into an area where there just isn't a lot to do. So we are the cool thing to do. Ah, Nice. That's awesome. So uh, yeah, we have a uh, next month. We have like a, I believe it's a 96 person tournament uh, for like magic. Yeah. Uh, yeah, it's it's going super well. We have Jim Ballant comes to our store all the time now. Uh, that's cool. Very cool. I like yeah. it. You set up the tournaments and everything else. You got the you get your setup for gaming. Oh yeah, it, uh, we regularly I think have seats for sixty four, and then yeah, we can Sheesh. stretch up to like a hundred. Wow, that's awesome. I love it. Any um, underground panda uh, sales going on in the back room? <laughs> Does that? <laughs> like it's a front for like a panda. Like, <laughs> no, her shop. I don't know. Yeah, like a shop. But so. there's any kind of thing going on where you sell pandas? Like I want to under know, the table. What made you ask that? I don't know. I just get a vibe where there's something going on other than magic tournaments. She gives on. off a panda vibe. Is what you're saying? Yeah, like a panda smuggling ring. <laughs> it's because I'm cute and cuddly. That's yeah. what it is. Okay, the panda. Oh, there you go. Panda like. That's, That's where you got it from. You have, to have a I license wondered. to sell pandas. <laughs> Watch like four years from now, like the. Like you'd be right. Breaking news. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Illegal. Exotic pan. animal dealer. That's right. Front for collectibles. In the tri-state area. Yeah. Exotic animal dealer. That was a in the tri-state area. <laughs> in the tri-state area. In the tri-state area. The uh, exotic. That's what I'm saying. Asian animals. Um. Uh, earlier this week, we got our first look at the Joker sequel. I'm not sure if you had a chance to check this out already, Tessa, but we're going to take a look at the uh, trailer for eh. Joker Folia Du. Exactly. Yes, I was Olia that I'm was not even French. Phenomenal. <laughs> uh -huh. Yeah. Oui. Have you seen that? Have you seen the trailer yet? Uh, you haven't seen anything about this yet, or have you seen? Any uh, moving? I've seen like little like, clips on Instagram, but I haven't watched the whole trailer. Okay, oh, beautiful. Same. I've seen, seen the meme of him like. <laughs> people keep putting yeah. it over stuff. Oh, yeah. really? <laughs> yes. Same. Yeah. Oh, I can't wait. <laughs> so we're gonna check this trailer out. I think it's coming out in October. I can't believe First week of October. How about the pandas. Yeah, there you yeah. go. Whoa. Let's go, boys. It's showtime. Wakey, wakey. Hey, Fleck, you got a joke for us today? <laughs> we use music to make us whole, to balance the fractures within ourselves. It's a I thousand years old. 
haven't done anything with my life like you have. There's no kiss like Shelby. Once there was a way <laughs> to get back home. Let's get out of here. Talking about <laughs> that's the name I see. I want to see the real you. People do uh, change the little smiley face to being like a little like cat emoji and stuff like that a lot. So I see a lot of like stupid nice. face ones go there. What'd you think of that trailer? Uh, so I watched a Star is Born and Lady Gaga kind of blew my socks off at that. So I feel like mm. while I don't think the Joker needed a sequel whatsoever, I feel like this could actually be really good. I am a little a little sus that it's a musical, but I I'm definitely gonna see it. Like I'm. I feel like it could be good, but I'm not necessarily like mm, sure. confident, but yeah. I'm excited to see it anyway. I think I'm on like the flip side of that coin. Flip flop. Um, I think it'll, I'm not very confident in it and I think it <laughs> might be not very good. It looks incredibly yeah. well made. Like it's obviously there's a lot of artistic value there. Uh, but I do think that uh, I personally did not. I don't think the first one is a bad movie. I think it's very well made. I mm -hmm. think uh, I think trying to humanize the Joker is a mistake and not the point of that character. So mm -hmm. it kind of it's one of those things where if you've read the book, it like people like my mom loves the book The Shining and she hates the movie. Everybody else loves the movie because they do different things. Mm. But anyways, so I felt like. It was like Taxi Driver, the reboot, the yeah. first one, and I don't think I loved that. Um, I can appreciate like the craftsmanship behind it, but not you know wasn't my cup of tea. And then this one, like, what are they gonna be celebrities? Are they gonna is he, he is he gonna be take Robert? To, so he became Taxi Driver, and now he's gonna become the uh, the uh, talk show host that Robert De Niro was in the last one. I mean, why? I was he, I feel was, exactly about the first one as you do. Actually, we're like I don't I didn't necessarily love the movie, but I did think it was like very well done. Like I think he did a beautiful job. Like, sure, his performance yeah, was yeah, he was incredible, ridiculous. But <laughs> I think all the parts will probably be good. I don't know if it will result in something on the whole that I am personally a fan of. Yeah. Okay, yeah. What about you? Panda? I'm I'm saying this. I thought <laughs> the it. first Joker is a standalone. Yeah. Thing as as well as everybody else, you know, did and they would like it to be that. Um, that's why I didn't put too much stock into um, humanizing him or anything like that. I, I I think they had free reign to do whatever they wanted to creatively, just because sure. I thought it was going to be a standalone movie. Mm -hmm. Since there is going to be a second one, I, I don't know what they're going to do with the music. Maybe these these are things just going on in his head. You know, maybe maybe these are scenes sure, where that he's could just work. thinking, yeah. thinking he, maybe he's not going to be um, like the uh, Harley scene from the Suicide Squad, kind of where she's dancing around. Yeah, and like a bunch of maybe, maybe it's that just over and over again, just in his head, because this is he 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 thought of a lot of different things in the first Joker that, that were not real. <laughs> you know what I mean? So I'm assuming I'm sure. hoping that it's not just a full out musical where they just start singing as soon as dialogue starts going on. But I've I've I pray that uh, he'll start thinking of something or something will take his mind towards them singing together or something like that because lady gaga is great she's a great singer 
I don't know. So is that him singing in in the uh, trailer? It might be. I don't know. <laughs> I'm not sure if that's him singing. I know Didn't he, can, he play he, Johnny Cash in the yeah, trailer? Yeah, he, oh, he can yeah. sing. He can I mean, sing. Okay, not that so. Johnny Cash can sing, but... I know, he actually sang. <laughs> oh, easy, easy, easy. easy, easy. <laughs> I know, yeah, hey. yeah, But he I, sang better, he sang more in key than Johnny Cash did, and, and to be honest, in real life, sure. Johnny Cash sang kind of off key, but he, he sang in his own oh, style. Oh, you don't say. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, just, I'm just saying, I'm not... I probably know though the slam cash. He talks. Sings. Sings. No, he's cash. great. He's iconic. I love. Uh, <laughs> you just can't sing. We're the we're the squat. Most. <laughs> right, I'm not even gonna. <laughs> no, I'm just saying. Uh, but but let's see let's see what happens. I want to. Uh, I'm definitely interested in seeing it just because um, I like I do like the first Joker movie. I thought it was good. I just thought it was going to be standalone. Them making a sequel kind of shocks the you know crap out of me. <laughs> It, it shocked me yeah. when, once I first heard they were making a sequel. I'm just like, really? Mm -hmm. um, I think it felt weird for this this choice, maybe a little bit, when they started to leak out details. And they're like, oh, well, Lady Gaga's attached to the sequel. And then they start saying, well, oh. Lady Gaga's going to be Harley Quinn. And then they're like, and it's a musical. That's where they lost and, me. And <laughs> then they're like, oh, and there's going to be like 14 or 15 jukebox type songs mixed into the movie and that there's going to be oh ryan had mentioned it there in the chat what well, shout out to fire guy ryan and uh, austin as well he's in there um ryan had mentioned that we could be watching a lot of hallucinations right in Ooh. this trailer <clears throat> and that what we're actually seeing of them you know the the real versions of them in arkham or whatever because they are going to they're going to be taking place in arkham yeah. that's the vibe out when you saw them like dancing all kind yeah. of glammed up and then it flashed to them like turning and dancing and like and there's like a wedding scene he's in the suit and sure like she's she's walking i mean there's a lot of hallucination uh probably in there i, th I think maybe the parts of this trailer that as far as like story elements went that confused me like them dancing on the thing whatever them going down the steps of that courthouse or whatever and dancing and everyone's taking pictures i'm like where is this what what is going on here? You see, there's a scene there, Paul, when he's running down the street and he's being chased by it looks like by himself. himself. Yeah. So real quick, I just noticed that. Yeah. Like I said, oh, so I, he's chasing him. Too. I used to be a little more like uh, Ryan. Ryan said, "I hate musicals," but I'm excited <laughs> for this. Um, I really have never been a fan of musicals until I watched Tick Tick Boom, which is phenomenal. And then it took me forever to well, watch Garfield, it. right? Yeah, Garfield, not the cat. Uh, <laughs> yes, that is Garfield, not the yeah, cat. Not the uh, cat. But La La not Land is one of the best movies I've ever watched in my entire life. Yeah, and that's there a musical. You go. And uh, yeah. that's kind of brought me around a little bit on musicals. Grease so if they, 2. So if this came... <laughs> if, yeah, Grease 2. Love, if this came I out two Grease years two. ago, I would be 100% against it. But now that I've come around <laughs> on musicals a little bit, I think and, maybe they could do something. What and if you like weirder movies. Paul likes weirder movies. Sure. Like Poor Things is a Poor weird things. movie. Poor Things is amazing, though. I know. I love he it. Likes Frank it. hated it. but uh, I didn't care for it. But he likes a lot of... He likes a, you like a lot of different stuff. A lot of different yeah. wide yeah, yeah, range yeah. of, of things. Um, Barbie was a musical, technically. Yes, that's true, Ryan. It sure was. Mm, okay. Yeah. I don't, I yeah, I don't know if I'd go that far. There is musical numbers. <laughs> nah, in it. Yeah. Hey, man. <laughs> he just can <laughs> anywhere else i'd be a 10 yeah. i do uh, i do think that this movie is gonna like take away something important from harley though because like if she's an inmate that takes away everything that's yeah. important about, about she's the, supposed like yeah. maybe she's crazy maybe she makes bad decisions and she's silly or whatever but she's smart like she works really hard to do what she's doing she's mm -hmm. very intelligent like she has a doctor and if she's just like a fellow crazy inmate i feel like that kind of takes away the sure. root of how she is herself. I don't know. Austin mentions that in the chat too. He's saying like, you're kind of like changing her role within this movie. You're turning her to just an inmate that yeah. she meets. She's meeting yeah. Arthur in jail or prison, you know, whatever. It's like kind of weird. Are we holding our, uh, holding everything a little too close to the chest maybe though? About what? Maybe. I don't know about maybe. like it being, we, we need it to be uh, exact. Cause if it's good, but it changes some things, is that okay with you? I guess absolutely. I, I just don't yeah. want you. So Harley is innately like a very like sexy lady character, right? Mm -hmm. But I think that she gives herself autonomy, and that makes sense. Like she is, she's doing everything very intelligently. Like I, I yeah. really like that about her. Like I, if they just turn her into like, oh yeah, she's just crazy and she's hot and she likes the Joker, then I feel like that takes away the point of why not just have her be anyone else. I don't know. Yeah, I hope sure. they don't do that. I, I, I think I'm. 
Well, she is visiting him, isn't she? In that scene where she put, right uh, draws the yeah, who, smiley face. Hopefully, she's uh, visiting him. We in think prison. maybe. Who know. knows? Maybe he she starts as the uh, what we know and love, and yeah. then that scene where she's maybe like she gets to prison or something. I don't know. I think that what, go back to what uh, Tessa had said originally a few minutes ago about whether or not this movie needed a sequel. I don't know if it did need it a sequel. I liked the original movie. I didn't really walk out of seeing the original film thinking, man, I want to watch another one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But you know what it is? It made a billion dollars. That's right. It's one of the few DC films to make a billion dollars. Yeah. They're not going to not make another one. Just like Aquaman. Uh, agreed. Well, that's what I'm saying. Agreed. This is, that's why I was saying Tessa, Frank, and Paul, even Quan. Oh, when it, <laughs> and it, dare I say Quan is uh, when the first Joker came out, and Frank, you and I were talking about it. It's like, why doesn't D- DC just make these one-offs? You know, like, why do they need to? Why do they need to make these sequels, a bunch of sequels, when they can make just a good one-off and be done with it? But they want the built-in audience. I though. know they want I, the connectivity. I, horrible. And I think yeah. that's why they may be rethinking the well, Batman, uh, c- trying to yeah. maybe yeah. connect it in some way to other stuff. So yeah, they're waiting to see. I think they've got the built-in audience. Everything pans Mo out. Money. Mo uh, money. Well, and I think maybe that's what bothered me about the first one was that it felt like a movie that was written not as a Joker movie, just a completely different movie. And they made him a completely different arc, <laughs> yeah. and they said, "What if we made the character in this movie Joke. the Joker to try to sell it?" Which is something that does happen in Hollywood. Sure. They'll like there'll be a spec script and they'll be like, Oh, this is a crime heist thing. Oh, what if it was a James Bond crime heist or an Ocean's eleven or twelve or thirteen crime heist mm. and they adapt it into an IP from an original thing to get both the best of both worlds. So yeah. it feels like that's kind of what happened with this. I don't necessarily think it is. I'm sure like this was very pointedly supposed to be a Joker thing. Sure. Um but but yeah, I think that's maybe the thing. I didn't like really like about it so much was that yes it was a good movie no did you have it was not the character I know Tessa going into seeing the Joker when you first saw it did you have high expectations low expectations were you really excited to see it were you like I gotta go watch it because I like uh, comic books you know (laughs) know, like what was what was your expectation level going into this movie originally Uh, it was exactly what I thought it was gonna be to a T honestly. Uh, and very much like slightly pretentious, like film bro movie. Sure. Uh, actually, sure. what Paul was saying where it felt like it could have just been another movie, and then they like flesh it out with a Joker title. I do definitely get that vibe from the movie. Mm. Yeah. yeah, I felt bad because I uh, I watched the movie with my dad, and my dad doesn't really like a lot of comic things, but he likes Batman, and uh. he likes like Batman sixty six, and he watches like all the Batman movies, loves the Christian Bale ones. So I think I was more so sad that like I went to go see with my dad and he like hated the movie because he was like, that's not the Joker. That's <laughs> <laughs> uh, a who comic the, book who, Batman purist, I who, guess. Who played Joker in the Batman television show? Uh, Omar, Cesar, Sh- Omar Sharif? So, Cesar Romero. Cesar, Cesar Romero. 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 He painted over his mustache because he, he didn't want to shave it. Because he didn't want to shave the mustache. <laughs> Honestly, as a man with a mustache, I get it. <laughs> Sure. I wouldn't want to shave. Who could forget the Batusi? He also like loved being a part of that show so much that whenever like, because it was very much like Monster of the Week kind of show. Yeah. Uh, whenever they like needed someone and they didn't have someone, he was like, "Here's a bunch of scripts. Like, I'll just call me whenever you need me for like a random fill in. I got it. I won't shave off the mustache for you, but I'll make. That <laughs> well, I'll put the grease paint over All it right. for sure. That's phenomenal. That's awesome. <laughs> I think the movie is probably gonna. To me, it's one of the the more polarizing films for the whole year, the people aren't really sure what to think sure. or what their expectation is because th- everybody's very mixed on the original film. Yeah. And then you're making a movie that people are already mixed on very different. I think... Or you're trying to make it different, I'm y- saying. Yeah, I think the uh, average movie-going, uh, moviegoer who hasn't ever read a comic book probably is a really big fan of the uh, first one, obviously probably with some slight differences or some people who don't but um i think what may have turned some average moviegoers off to it is making it a musical because someone who doesn't read comics who liked that first one was like oh i want more of that and then you tell them it's a musical they're probably like why that's the main complaint i've seen yeah Mm -hmm. not that it can't be good but just why? And isn't it so weird? Kind of side note. Isn't it so weird that the guy who's making these movies is the guy who made all the Hangover movies? 
<laughs> yeah. Oh yeah, it's a really good point. <laughs> like what? Yeah. If you'd have told me in twenty, like wanted Alan in this, right? No. <laughs> if you'd have told me <laughs> that <laughs> the guy who made Hangover was going to make a Joker series, that's a good point. <laughs> Ten years later, I wouldn't have believed you. It doesn't make any sense. Stand by. Standing by. Um, I wouldn't be shocked if Zach Galifianakis was, <laughs> was like in this movie. <laughs> like I could see him just showing up. In there's the like. There's like an alternate universe where he got cast as the Joker in this movie. <laughs> really? Sure. Oh, really? There's a... yeah, yes, Shane. Oh, yeah, there's definitely an alternate I'm, I'm universe sorry. where I, just, I was like, really, Paul? Yeah. <laughs> no, you idiot. Paul, you should have gaslit him. <laughs> I know. Yeah, I yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, wow. Actually, Zach, uh, Zach was was <laughs> cast. It was between him and Phoenix. Like, and, it was and, a call. and the day before filming started, how dare you? Zach Galifianakis had to. He had a scheduling conflict with uh, what are the, between the it was bushes. The hangover six. Actually. <laughs> <laughs> That's, no, no, but what are they called? between two ferns? He had to record the between two ferns, so he wasn't able to. Oh, for uh, gosh sakes! To play the Joker <laughs> yeah. come the start of the shoot, and so they went. I guess we'll get Joaquin <laughs> Phoenix. <laughs> believe i believe all of it i go wow yeah. oh lord can't wait to tell my family <laughs> uh, you know what tessa and paul told me on the show zach galifianakis, zach galifianakis the joker. actually supposed to be the joke i was just thinking about it though, <laughs> and called. then him doing musical numbers yeah that oh, would be no, phenomenal oh, that'd be great actually uh, see i actually i really like uh not all musicals in general but like i'm i'm not afraid of a musical i'll have a good time but like telling me there's going to be like specifically yeah. that kind of joker movie a Joker musical. Yeah. Yeah. For, like, for, if you tell me there's a Joker musical, if it's anything other than like an episode of an animated series, I'm probably not into it. Sure. Yeah. Right. Yeah. That makes sense. The movie where a dude ran around shooting people in the face last movie, that's going to be a musical. <laughs> He's going to be singing. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right. I mean, sure. Like, one scene, sure. Like, I could totally see like one number, like, you know, just yeah. here's, a, here's a hallucination, here's one number. And like, I could see that being great. But, yeah. Like, 15? 15? Do you, is, 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 is that what you? Is, there's 15 numbers on that. That's what they're there's saying. supposed to be 15 songs featured yeah. in the movie. Yeah, oh, Ryan that's mentioned. A song just in general for I, know, any movie. I know for a musical, it's a lot. <laughs> the Galifianakis played the Joker in Lego honest. Batman. That's right, and uh, the director because he Anchorman. couldn't make it for the Joker, and so they were like, yeah. "Ah, you'll do the Lego one." Perfect, <laughs> man. Um, you guys are jerks. Uh, man. The director of Anchor Man made Succession. That's a good point, Ryan. What? Hey, Everybody go yeah. watch Succession. Yes, whoever said that. Yes. Everybody Ryan. go watch Succession. Well, here's another Thanks one for you. You know, movie forty three and those really terrible spoof movies. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know who directed those? The uh, guy who made the Chernobyl miniseries <laughs> on HBO. That okay. that show is Dude. phenomenal. Yeah, and he made great. the yeah, terrible epic movie. He made epic movie and then he made Chernobyl. How so is this possible? How do you know. just wow. flip the switch? <laughs> well, I guess he's better at making like heavy dramas. Just a moment, yeah. uh, Tessa. I just Very want to take so. a minute yeah. to. Uh, we've just been joined at the table by um, Brother Marcus. He's here. Uh, <laughs> ah, great glasses. Thank you, <laughs> Marcus. We thank you for being here. Thank yes. you for being a friend. No, Marcus. Marcus. <laughs> thank you for being You're fantastic. <laughs> yes. Your heart is true. You're a pal. And a confidant. confidant. Oh my gosh! Is this episode turning into a musical? <laughs> oh, what? Oh, <laughs> Who would have guessed it? And if you do a party. Did you get a chance to see the Joker trailer? Did you already see it? Uh, no, I didn't. Well, we just watched it, so sorry. Right. No, I'm, I, I, no, I'm okay. I'm, I'm totally okay. It didn't look terrible. Yeah. Yeah. I didn't see the first movie either. Not, but, I mean, that's kind of what we were talking about, yeah. yeah. Uh, do you think that the movie <laughs> sorry was? Do you think the Joker movie and then this movie potentially is is received differently because there is no Batman? That people don't can't identify a, a, a Batman role that we're making Joker it, Arthur Fleck. We're making him an anti-hero. Well, do you think 100%. that's part? Do you think yeah. that's part of the issue with people? I think it's something. It's something. <laughs> yeah, I tell you why. Because <laughs> tell us why. Like that. <laughs> I, think it's I think it's definitely something for sure. I think it's something for sure. I tell you, and I'll tell you why. Because um, every 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 time Joker is in a Batman movie, the the first thing everybody wants to see is Joker. Like, what is he gonna do? What is he gonna look like? What is he gonna be like? So in this movie, where like? Joker is, would it be like? <laughs> in this Joker, I mean, in this movie uh, specifically, we were just so enamored with jo Joaquin Phoenix being Joker. So we're like we're we are, are attached to everything that this character does. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And we're not missing Batman. I don't think people are missing Batman as much. Sure. 
Well, yeah. In this case. What? I, I think it's almost like DC's equivalent of doing what um, what Sony did with Venom. Venom, yeah, I agree. Yeah, just kind of like distancing. Yeah. You're distancing key this players away yeah. and trying to make this one character stand alone. And it can work um, if it's done correctly, but I, I honestly don't think it can work well unless you do pay some sort of head nod to those other right. characters. Well, at least in context. In, yeah, in, in a interesting. Certain, to a certain, yeah, to a certain some degree. way. Yeah, yeah. I, for specifically those two characters, it's really weird to have specifically beginning stories without their counterparts. Right. Because they both in the beginning exist usually as a foil to that. Like mm-hmm. especially Venom is just like all he wants to do is like mess up Peter Parker. And that's it. Right. Like. Right. Yeah. I do think the Joker is definitely better than those Venom movies, but I 100% right. agree that it is exactly the same concept. And I mean, you you weren't here yet, but I was saying that it feels like a movie that was written as one thing, and then they said, "Ah, this could be a Joker movie." And what kind? One of the things that kind of makes me think that is the scene towards the end of the Joker, where it's like it's Bruce Wayne at a fence. I'm like, right. This is literally oh, only yeah. in this movie. <laughs> because yeah. it's a joker movie i mean mm. i might be misremembering the scene slightly he's no, like trying to give right. the bruce something like little baby bruce he's something talking through. to him whatever, which like and they, yeah if the joker's already 40 years old and <laughs> yeah. bruce is 12 <laughs> he's, he's three like what <laughs> he's three but i don't know joker's <laughs> immortal in some stories so whatever yeah yeah and that's usually kind of dc's problem um or what a lot of people have with uh, concerns as far as dc's continuities because at some point they have to reset it because pretty soon every, all the supporting characters whether it be other characters within the bat family or villains they're gonna grow up and get older and then pretty soon they're gonna be older than superman batman and wonder woman well not maybe not wonder woman but at least superman <laughs> and batman and then they have to reset it so you know damien doesn't become older than his you know sure father <laughs> right, right, right. You know what right. I mean? They can't all, you know, Superman okay. and Batman I mean, can't no, be in there. They just have Bendis write a story, and then they go off to a different planet. Exactly. And they right. and they come yeah. back, and it's yeah. fine. Because yeah. we don't really know like their age range. I mean, they're not like high school rivals. Yeah. I mean, we, right. Bendis be, can go ahead and not write another major DC comic. Book. I'd, be, I'd be okay, be okay with that. that. He yeah. can stick to Marvel or Dark Horse or whatever. Yeah, <laughs> he's doing yeah. a lot. I, I was not, I was not happy with him aging up, Damien. I thought the Super Sons. Like Damien? age, you know. You mean John? Oh, John. Sorry, hey, sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. John, John Kent. Yeah. Um, um actually, <laughs> well, actually, he, he aged them both. I think actually, because they were both. No, nah, he aged no. John like no. a decade. He aged Damien like <laughs> a normal amount of time. Oh, How the, dare the, you. wow. Yeah. Okay, so he really you know screwed right. that up then. Well, yeah. I mean, I like what came of the John thing. I'll tell you what. I'm gonna tell you a little story. I, I like Please. Super Sons. I like right, Super Sons. Super Sons that is phenomenal. Been, yeah. That should have that should have lasted a little longer. I What's think that? we get to Mossy kind of trying yeah. to replace the Super Sons and just be like, yeah, no, look, now he's friends with Dick Grayson, so it, it's the same. It doesn't matter now. Yeah, that yeah. doesn't that dynamic yeah. doesn't work. But I do kind of like the dynamic between uh, Dick and John in in that uh, in that it. he's kind of like he's dick is a different kind of uh all right relax is a different kind of person he can go to because he has a different kind of adult outlook on filling somebody's shoes like there's some scenes in the uh when taylor was writing both nightwing and uh superman Mm -hmm. that he came to nightwing and he was like i can't ever be superman like i don't know and he's like you need to be you Mm -hmm. just like i thought i needed to be (laughs) I thought I needed to be Bruce for a long time. <laughs> no, but Sean. I uh, no, Sean. no Diddy, no Diddy, no Diddy. No, no it's Diddy, there, no so doubt. we don't have to say it, right? No um, but uh, I'm sorry, I lost my. Shit. Oh, but he's like, just be you. <laughs> You're never gonna be him, but he's never mm-hmm. gonna be you. Just be you. So I do like that dynamic between him. I and love and that. Nightwing. And like even the way they like supported it by showing back to when John was a kid. I think this was in like some like flashback issue of the Tom Taylor Nightwing run. But they were showing that uh, in the cave or whatever, uh, John ran away and Dick and Batman were going to go find him. And uh, he immediately like shoots his laser beams or whatever at Batman because he's scared. And Dick's like, you idiot. Like you're a giant bat approaching him in a cave. Like no wonder right. he's scared. And then he like <laughs> goes and talks to him and it's really cute and wonderful. And so it shows off that like big brother mentality rather than like best friend yeah. troublemaker. Like. Yeah. You, and you know what I would suggest for people who want the uh, dynamic between a young John and a young Damien still 
the Trinity backups that Tom King has been writing on Wonder Woman, oh, those well, yeah. are Solid. phenomenal. Like yeah. they have literally brought a tear to my eye. Like every other one I've read, where they're just she's like, oh, I don't want you to like the one where it's like the uh, competition and they're fighting on a. Uh, uh, Themyscira and Damien and John are like, whatever, we give up, you win. And they're like, she's like, but you're my older brothers. Like, if you give up, then, then, and it like brings a tear to my eye. It's like, it's so well written. It's yeah. so mm-hmm. good. It'll but, probably, so, it'll probably be collected, kind of like what they did with Superman. Well, they did up collect the, the uh, first three in a, it's called the Trinity Special or something like that. Uh, yeah, it's like okay. a thick issue. Yeah. yeah. But uh, I think he's going to continue writing it. But that's, that's phenomenal. Good. So yeah. you can get the best of both worlds. Anyways, what were we talking about? Uh, <laughs> of both, best of both worlds. Um, uh, Joker. Think- and how you're going to get the soundtrack. Go ahead and comment. I don't know about Who, that. Who's going who's gonna to get the soundtrack? Oh, Ooh. to Joker? To Joker, yeah. Uh, probably, probably my wife will probably get the soundtrack. <laughs> she loves Lady Gaga. It's, a, it's one of her favorites. Yeah. And she just likes weird soundtracks and she likes Grease. And she likes <laughs> oh, uh, Rocky dope, She likes Rocky Horror Picture Grease Show. Is the word. Yeah, Grease is the word. <laughs> yeah, that you heard that you heard. It's got I love bird, bird, bird. Very specific it's got mood, it's got feeling. It yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, she's gonna love it too. Yeah. You told everybody I like Rocky Horror Picture Show. Actually that's kind of cool. Rocky, she got taste, you know, that's fine. Oh absolutely, yeah. Fun. Yeah. Well, come on! I you know, know she well, I, I was gonna. I think what's his name just yeah. passed away too. Didn't what's his name just passed away? Passed away the the star of OJ Rocky Hill. OJ Simpson. Oh, um, <laughs> what's his name? Uh, the, the, the main character. Yeah, because he Dr. he Frank was Carter. like declining little by little. Yeah, but he died. It, probably. He died? I think he died last year. Maybe Who? I could Tim be wrong. Daly. OJ Simpson. Yeah, Tim Daly. I, he died. I think he died. Yeah. Let's not Google no, it and just daily. everyone say else. definitively right now without Googling it. Did he die? Yes. Uh, okay. All right. I he died. <laughs> he did die. Maybe. Yeah. Do you, okay. I know. I know he was like <laughs> steadily. Good declining. question. Um, yeah. All right. <laughs> so I didn't, I didn't know about Joe, OJ Simpson until some one of the customers at work told me, and I was like, oh, wow. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 Anyway. By the way, OJ died, everybody. Yes. Yeah, I was like, wow. Okay. <laughs> just, just in case nobody just, said, by the way. Um, by the way. Yeah. Orenthal James. Orenthal um, James. All right. Listen. Do you guys think they made this a musical because <laughs> Lady Gaga signed on? Maybe. I'm sure that helps. I could see that. I'm sure it helps. Do you yeah. think we're gonna do do you think it was we're gonna do the second one as a musical? Let's get Lady Gaga or Lady Gaga came well, to them cast and Melissa said, McCarthy as Harley Quinn. She probably wouldn't have been a <laughs> musical. That would, you, that would have been your favorite movie of the year. Um, I would have loved it. But do you, or do you think Lady Gaga came to the producers and said, "I would love to be a part of this. Can we make it a musical?" Mm. Yeah, she was in talks with it really early, right? Like I think I remember hearing like yeah. Joker two, and then like Lady Gaga part of it in like basically the same breath. Did the first I Joker wonder. do that well? That made they a billion, well, dollars. billion dollars. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Wow. Okay. So it did all right. Yeah. <laughs> Only a billion. Yeah, right. More money than I can wow. even fathom. Before we go That's any that. further with this Joker talk, even though our Joker talk is done, uh, I think it's done anyway because I'm ending it right now. Because we need to get to <laughs> Sorry, Tessa. I'm just saying that it's time for oh, Cop or Drag! Oh my gosh. Yeah, no one was here for the mirror, mirror, mirror. Me, me, me. No, that was okay. that was that was better <laughs> without it. I want to clarify something really quick. We clarify said it. Tim Daly. Tim no, Daly did the voice of this of Superman in the animated series, and he was, and on, wings. He was on Wings. He is <laughs> we mean, very much alive. We mean, we mean oh, Tim, Tim Curry, Curry, who played uh, right. the lead in uh, Rocky Horror Picture Dr. Show. Doctor Frank Furter is Rocky Horror Picture also Show. alive. <laughs> oh, he I'm is alive. Tim Curry's definitely alive. He went to like a con in October. I was. He's at. alive. Are Pennywise, sure? right? Yeah. Okay. I thought he had a stroke though. He had a, he had a stroke. He did. Yeah, he, yeah, he had a stroke. Right. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Anyway, it might, it might um, have been some. Anyways, got any more information on the okay. medical history of Pennywise the Clown? Tim now, Curry? That we, go, now that we I'll got go look that it straight, copper drop. It's copper. Copper drop. No, I'm just kidding. Oh, God. <laughs> Thank you, Quan. <laughs> All right. So we got comic books. We're gonna judge them. We're gonna rate them. Well, I'm gonna pick the best one out of you. All you jabronis who brought comics or who have comics in front of you. Thank you. Tessa is going first because she is our guest. And she is way nicer than the rest of you clowns. And she's, Go ahead. Tra- and she's dressed like Poison Ivy, it looks and she's like. she's dressed like Poison Ivy. <laughs> Thank you. And her hair looks fantastic. Okay, here we go. We got a beautiful Tulo Tate. Hey there. Yay. All right. Hey. hey. All right, well, uh, while 
all Shane is talking me up, I can, uh, you know, try to try to sweeten it up. I would love to see a live show that's just Shane. I feel like there would be so much. <laughs> <laughs> I want to Guys, let's go. Soundboard, I want him to be like. We'll do a one a shot. We'll have to do a one a shot. One shot. <laughs> yeah. yeah, a Shane special. <laughs> that should have been your April Fool show. You should oh, have been I know. Shane yeah. for an hour. Maybe just, for the holidays, we'll just have him sit in here for an hour and a half. So, <laughs> like a telephone. Two cases you know, of Truly, <laughs> some Jack. Yeah. Oh my god, I watched that so much. Coke Zero. <laughs> with the Jack. And we'll right. just give him talking points. Yeah, and we'll make, sit over there. I yeah. have a tux with the ruffles. I'll have a <laughs> and I'll have a microphone no. for no reason. Maker's Mark and We're Coke just Zero. handheld. We're gonna write out a list of actors, yeah. celebrities, <laughs> and we're gonna hold them up and you're gonna say definitively whether they're dead or not. <laughs> With no Googling allowed. And then you're going to pontificate upon how they may have died. Oh, oh man. Uh, that, uh, uh, half of that and then half uh, redheads. Uh, 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 ch uh, chick redheads, whether they're... Uh, Ooh, I want to be on that. <laughs> absolutely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, absolutely. I'm uh, completely down for this now. <laughs> Call in all that show, and you could just be talking. To <laughs> <laughs> okay, that could be a mistake. <laughs> oh god, I'm loving this idea. Oh, <laughs> really? It I'm sounds you good. For the free idea, yeah, I like. I love it. Thanks, it's, Tessa. It's a little right, dangerous. Hey. Yeah, thank you, Tessa. Cobra drop, oh, Tessa. Me off. <laughs> it sounds edgy. Like an edgy show plan. Uh, this is the greatest show ever. Love it. Me, more me, everybody. All right, Tessa, go, go please go. Or, or Frank's gonna kill us all. Please go. Yeah. Anyway, now that I've tried to tried to kiss up so that I can, just, uh, I can get off here. You are now uh, in the lead. Uh, yeah. Go ahead. Let me know if I talk about too many because I I got a, I got a big stack, but they're mostly from the same series, so like it's, oh, it's actually okay. not that much. Oh, all right. All right, hit it. Um. So I have this book that I want to shout out because I feel like no one grabbed. This is like a very indie book from Silver Sprocket. It's on this like beautiful toned paper. It's done amazingly. Like this is oh, wow. super stunning. It's a deep dive into like someone's personal interactions with like bipolar and other mental disorders. Uh, but the way they just did it was so stunning. Like it's got this like uh, spot gloss that's done so well. Like it's just a really beautifully made book. And also like it really has a personal level of here's what it's like to be in someone's brain that has this going on. Yeah, that's uh, really so cool. it's wow. like informative and terrifying and sad, and I really loved it. I like how uh, the, it looks like it's printed on that aged paper, that type yes, of style. I'm obsessed with that. Yeah, I'm I obsessed. love that. That's yeah. how you get me. Yeah, rest yeah, in peace, good. Ed Pisker. He was the first one I saw mm -hmm. who would use that in the grand design stuff and, yeah. and the hip-hop family tree. So Nice. Yeah, rest in peace for that. Go ahead. You have now helped her. She's now in the lead. <laughs> like, uh, and forcefully so. in the lead. Hey, rightful, rightfully so. You've helped so. her. All right, go ahead. Rightfully so. What else you got? Unbelievable. Um, I got Beyond Real. Uh, Ryan and I just read these the other day. This was uh, really good. So it starts off very sweetly with like a couple, and one of those like very perfect couple moments that are often depicted in media, you know, like just everything's going well. But then right after that, they show a very like harrowing moment. That's not necessarily bad, but just very real of just, I don't want to talk about this right now. You're annoying me. Be quiet. Stop. Uh, and then one sure. of them gets hit by a car. Well, I guess they both do, but one of them doesn't do so well. Okay. Uh, and so it's kind of dealing with this. Uh, it's called beyond real because then it, it's in this kind of future where uh, it, it might be a simulation. <laughs> Oh, wow. um, the Matrix. Yeah, okay. it's very interesting. So it starts off on very much like an emotional level, uh, and then it goes into very like timey wimey, techy weird stuff. Uh, but it's very good. I'm very into it. Oh. Uh, and then my my personal drug right now is the one hand and the six fingers. Oh, uh, I saw that in the store. Sweet. Yeah, you ha you like half trade them together. So it's Rom V on the one hand and Dan Waters, who I adore, on the six fingers. Uh, and the same colorist across both, so that really helps to like unify them. But they do have different artists. Uh, but it's like the one hand one, and then the six fingers one, and then the one hand two, and then et cetera. Uh, so if you're only like okay with the first issue, definitely read the next one because that's the one that sold me and made me obsessed. Uh, it's delving into this like crime noir kind of story. And the one hand is from the detective's point of view who like this murder he put away a long time ago. Maybe he has a copycat. Maybe he's just actually back again. So he's diving back on the case right as he was going to retire. And then the six fingers is from supposedly the other person's point of view who is possibly committing these murders and he doesn't really know it. Uh, mm. But it's so much better than I could explain. It's very that's like cool. freaky and weird and I'm so into it. I love it. Fantastic. Nice. nice. Yeah, that's good stuff. Fantastic. Uh, 
All and right. then this whole right, stack on. is literally just the energon universe. Oh, <laughs> my hey. just, yeah, I think that, that we just converted Paul I over just to the energon universe. All of that on my pull box, and I'm catching. Yeah, that. that's awesome. that goes without saying. I'm not Every title is amazing. Yet, uh, but Brian and I have been reading a lot of them, and so it's it's so much better than yeah. it should be. <laughs> so, so much better than it should be. Yeah. Well, that's what I thought. I was like, eh, Transformers. Yeah, kind of like comic junk food until you start reading it and you're like, wow. This but is I read the first yeah. trade of Void Rivals and I was like, holy smokes, this is yeah. yeah. phenomenal. I'm obsessed yeah. with Void Rivals. I love those two. Yeah. 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 And that's I didn't think I didn't think I was gonna like it honestly because I, I was like, well, how is this related? How's how are they gonna link this with GI Joe and Transformers? I was I like. You know, but it it's working. It's working. Nice. Yeah, I, I, I can see some stuff coming together for sure. Yeah, dude. You got like Daniel Warren Johnson on Transformers yeah. and that's sick. And Mike Spicer too and Joshua Williamson. And now Cobra Jorge Commander Corona. and the design on that book is so good. Like, I, I can't believe that I love this stuff because I don't care about this stuff. Like, yeah. Transformers <laughs> is fine. I have nothing against God. it. I have no interest in G.I. Joe. Like, right. I, you, know. you mean you don't love the Michael Bay Transformers movies? You know, I actually had a great time watching them in theaters. They were mm. really fun. They yeah. were popcorn flicks. You know, yeah. they did what they what they were supposed to do. Uh, but that's pretty much what I know about Transformers. Yeah, yeah. As as I most, yeah. I watched boy cartoons as a kid, so I don't know anything about this stuff. Yeah, right. Frank Frank is hurt because he he loves everything Transformers. Frank is hurt. She just I said love getting that in hurt. the Transformers collections. We get in. We get in like the toys. And sometimes we get in the old ones that are like metal. Those are so cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 It's good stuff. All right, this is uh, all fantastic choices. Of course, as we all knew, you would pick fantastic stuff. But she's, not, gonna make me blush. she's not picking a winner, Shane. Where? I'm what are you doing saying, here? I'm just saying they're fantastic. Everything she brought up is fantastic. That's yeah. all I'm saying. Uh, relax, relax. <laughs> Paul is next. Yes. Paul, go ahead. Let's see what um, you got. So, <laughs> At least I'm not sunny. Sunny yeah. poo-poo everything you brought, no matter what's going That's on. That's true. So uh, Shane's not going to like this. I didn't have a chance to go home today after work, so I don't have any of my books on me. Whoa. But the one, yes, Shane is giving me a dirty look immediately. Um, people have to make money sometimes, Shane. It's okay. And then I came on Quan Show. I know that's probably going to make you feel. <laughs> um, but so the one I wanted to talk about today, because most of my poll this week was stuff I've talked about before. Um, and I wanted to talk about, because none of us had, and it came out a few weeks ago, maybe even a month ago now, the finale of Batman City of Madness. Uh Woo! It Batman, was, huh? yeah, who, okay. who would have guessed ahead. it? I, yeah, I like reading Batman. <laughs> yeah, Batman. Um, but, okay. I mean, I did, what, I'm going to throw Batman, something at you. Um, <laughs> but, so it's uh, Christian Ward, mm -hmm. and uh, our, I can't remember the gentleman's name. He does the uh, lettering on uh, Beneath, Beneath the Trees Where Nobody Sees as well. Uh, it's Those two are the team. Tim Curry? It's like Ellen Howe, Humane, or something <laughs> like that. Tim Daly. Oh, I'm but, sorry. But... <laughs> <laughs> that was, <laughs> yeah, sure. Uh, Tim Allen? <laughs> I'm losing my train of thought. But it was Steph a three-issue kind of magazine size or whatever you call those prints uh, on Black Label. And it kind of came out of nowhere for me. Probably other people were hyped about it for a long time. But I was very excited for Gargoyle of Gotham, which still has been very good. I think it's been delayed a little while because uh, the next issue hasn't come out. Yeah, I but, was going to say, I was like, nah, did it, I miss one? No, it's <laughs> just been delayed. Just so like delayed, the yeah. last days of Superman with Brian Hitch and uh, right. Mark Wade. But uh, I thoroughly enjoyed this. I think Christian Ward's art is striking and very different from, I wish I had it here. It's just very different from the Reading vast too. majority of not only batman comics but just comics in general it's kind of like really fluid and abstract it it visually doesn't look similar to arkham asylum a madhouse on mad earth but in like practice like it's the same kind of idea of this surreal almost strange world that they exist in is it otsmane is the letter yes otsmane thank you um but and shout out ryan he said it in the chat as well oh ryan. but it's basically you. there's this to for people who have seen Stranger Things. It's like a, a what a below or the the upside down of Gotham, oh, and there's okay. flip versions of everyone or every villain and every Batman. Okay. From the but <laughs> I'm interested. Go on. Yes. I'm interested. And basically, <laughs> it's kind of spawned and connected to the. Oh, there you go. Oh, okay. Yes. Oh, so, right there. Phenomenal. Okay. Yeah. Thank you so much, Tessa. 
That's um, cool. Coming in clutch. <laughs> <laughs> coming in clutch. <laughs> and uh, I'm here to help Christian Ward, man. His art is so oh, okay. Oh, not so much. Yeah. Not Paul, but Christian nice. Ward. No, but by, by proxy, you're helping me. Thank you. Yeah. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but proxy, you, get, right, uh, you get this kind of flipped underside of Gotham where he has to team up with the Court of Owls, Batman does, to go into this other side of Gotham to save this boy who's been kidnapped by the Batman there. You find out eventually who this Batman from the uh, Upside Down Gotham is, which they call it something different, but I'm going to keep calling it the Upside Down. And I yeah. think <laughs> it works. Who the uh, we understand. This, this Batman is implied to possibly become the Joker mm. once he makes it out of this Upside Down version of Gotham. And it's like this... Uh, Who's the, who's the dude who makes Cthulhu? Why can't I think of that guy? Um, H.P. Lovecraft. Thank you. It's like this mm. Lovecraftian kind of version of Gotham and version of Joker who comes to be born of it. And I don't know if I would love if that was the canon origin uh, of Joker, but as like an Elseworld world version of Joker, it was a really cool concept. This person who goes into this world gets changed and made entirely different from everybody else in every way and then comes back to Gotham. That would explain the Joker in like every single way. And who he is, I can't stress enough, is really interesting, but I'm not going to say it. I want people to read it. So Very that's cool. what that's what All I want right. for today. Gosh. Gosh. <laughs> Ugh. Why does he have to do that? I thought you weren't, Sonny. I thought you didn't. No, like, I'm just hate saying. Like, I, 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 d I was prepared to hate everything you just said, and I can't because that sounds cool as all get out. It's so cool, dude. Yeah, it's, <laughs> yeah, it's, it's a black label series, cool. right? Yes, it's black label. Yeah. Black label. Okay, it's, it's phenomenal. Yeah, so it's gonna be good. It's gonna be quality. It seems like everything black label does is quality. I have not been disappointed in that imprint. I yeah, I think it. Christian Ward does is amazing, and he writes it too. He's not just the artist. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. Is he doing a cover for our friend Phil Kenny Johnson yep. for Crocodile Park? Yeah. Bucky is. Look wow. at just how dope it is. Yeah, it's yeah. it's a very Jeez. the colors, just everything Strong about vivid lettering. Yes, yeah. absolutely. Everything. Thank you, Tessa, for <laughs> making Shane have to like my stuff. Uh, I mean, uh, <laughs> now I'm thinking. It's you only are? fair. I kissed up, so like. Yeah. That's true. That's true. <laughs> that is that is true. You hedged heavily. <laughs> <laughs> She Good literally Lord. told you the show would be better if it was just you. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. I, can, I can't forget that either. I mean, yes. that is a strong point that she made. I mean, her why did I bring that back up? Dollars. Continue. Yeah. yeah, her comics are great as well, but that is a strong point that the show would be better if it was just me. All right, Marcus. <laughs> Into the Shane comics. No. All right, Marcus. Uh, yeah. Into the Marcus. Marcus. <laughs> <next. laughs> It's all right. <laughs> the me into the into the shame. All right, all right, all right. hit it. All right, so I, I took a page from our our friend Barney from Shimson Comics. Shout out to him. Oh, I love you, uh, Barney. I took a page from his book and I uh, did decided to do a little bit of a kind of a retro review because um, <gasps> while I wow. you know during the last uh, con that we went to it was uh, Silver State Events, uh, formerly Silver known State as State Expo. Yeah. It was formerly, Unicon. It was Unicon. Formerly Unicon, uh, a, a show that happens out here in Las Vegas. Um, <clears throat> I was uh, picking up some Miracle Man stuff that he found for me. And I appreciate that, Barney. Appreciate that. You and while Miracle I was Man. going through his trades, I found Ghost Rider Road to Damnation, which is a Garth Ennis and Clayton Crane yes. trade paperback. Now, uh, prior to this, um, I didn't know that that book actually existed because it's been so out of print that I didn't even know uh, until later on that that existed after reading uh, Ghost Rider Trail of Tears, which is this, which is a prequel to that. And it's basically sets up a, that's, I believe that's a six issue arc. This is a six issue arc and it's a prequel set in a, the uh, Trail of Tears is a prequel set in the Civil War era. We're just kind of over it. We have a uh, you know Confederate soldier who ends up happening, uh, or uh, he ends up being gravely injured, and he's nursed uh, back to health. Uh, yeah, a phenomenal art. Freaking Nazgul. This is insane. Clay Clayton Crane is a monster, and I didn't realize he actually did like whole books. I, I just know him uh, when I got into comics. I just knew him for his Venom Island cover issue twenty one of Venom by Donny Cates, where he did the cover. Um, but he did a cover and, and, and the internals. And this story basically sets off, uh, sets up mm -hmm. a, uh, what the Ghost Rider probably started out as, like kind of like an origin where um, you have a Confederate soldier 
who's injured. He's saved by a uh, emancipated slave wow. who, who's a landowner, owner, and the landowner, uh, a former slave, nurses him back to health, and he just sticks around because he lost all his family. The Confederate soldier lost all his family, so he befriend he becomes tight with the uh, with this uh, black family, and you know the some of the usual sort of things end up happening. Uh, the 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 sl former slave he gets. You know, he and his family get slaughtered. Uh, these guys come in, take his land. And so that, you know, that guy, that Confederate soldier ends up setting out to try to, you know, after he leaves, this all kind of transpires after the Confederate soldier leaves and goes west to try to establish a new life for himself. And um, he comes back to visit him and everything has gone. And then some, you know, some, uh, uh, Southern squatters are on his in the former land, and he's like, "What's going on?" So uh, it just leads into this harrowing tale of just you know Man. vengeance and what I think is probably setting up like a either a, like an Elseworlds sort of spin to it, or or a pre Johnny Blaze sort of Ghost Rider, you know, because Those it's kind of because cool, yeah. it's kind of rooted in sort of some African kind of like uh, uh, religion. And it, it's done very well, and the art is phenomenal. Nice. Gar Garth Ennis and uh, Clayton Crane. And so the road to damnation kind of just continues yeah, with Clayton its own Crane's separate. Clayton Crane's ridiculous. Yeah, yeah. yeah it, it, it just c continues on um, with... Uh, <laughs> this is, is, is going to be a tough one. Yeah, with uh, just... It's a totally different arc, but it kind of builds, you know, it just kind of continues with the same momentum, even though it has yeah. different characters at play. Uh, in the Road to Damnation series, and to find it, it was it was great. I was just like, man, I I don't think I ever would find this. It's Phenomenal. beautiful. Yes. Right. And then my second one is um, this one was uh, kind of uh, I, I stumbled upon it at uh, Alternate Reality. Uh, shout out to Ralph for the <laughs> Alternate Reality Comics. Love you, Ralph. Yes, local comic book store. He and I got along, you know, hit it off right away because we're both big Alan Moore fans. And so um, this is a Neo, Neo <laughs> Nomicon. Right. Yeah, Neo Nomicon. So this is a trade paperback. This is collecting uh, the two issue kind of separate thin graphic novel, which served as a prequel to it uh, of The Courtyard and uh, Neo Nomicon, which is the four issue series follow up to it. And it's basically HP Lovecraft meets Silence of the oh, Lambs. Don't flip through that. There's like a lot of nudity in there. This one? Yeah. This Oh yeah. man, I was gonna show off some. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, oh, that's that's also a lot of nudity. Can I yeah. see that? <laughs> there's oh, some. My word. There's some. Can look. Can look. Yeah, I mean, it's not the kind of nudity I think you're gonna be excited about. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's pretty. And, it, and there's some gruesome. There's some gruesome scenes in there as well too. What the? But, <laughs> but essentially, what you have is uh, the, the so the the prequel, the, the courtyard prequel sets up. Uh, what you have is you have an FBI agent who's deep in deep cover and in this major city, um, which I guess for all intents and purposes is like New York. And uh, he's trying to figure out what's going on. There's like this drug, this, this drug uh, sort of thing happening. And he's trying to figure out who the source is and what's going on with it. And it's turning everyone into this, you know, there's a lot of supernatural elements involved right. as well. And it's turning everyone into, you know, these kind of people who just mumble gibberish. And you can get some words out, like uh, Cthulhu is actually mentioned in it and, and so forth. And so very cool. uh, it's very, it sets up where basically you have the FBI agent. He's perfectly sane, but he's, he's, he's super racist and he's super just like over the top in that regard. And then it ends, that, that two-issue series kind of ends with him, you know, with blood all over him. And he doesn't know, you know, and, and prior to that, all you see are all these like weird, like fever dream imagery scenes. And then you see him with blood and that's how it ends. And so you're right. like, what the heck? He must have killed someone. And then it goes into that four issue series. And nice. then you get into some really like Very trippy cool. stuff. Right. So it's pretty cool. Alan Moore's kind right. of the best. Yeah. Uh, yeah. We've yeah. got Alan a caller. Moore's I think if the caller's still there. Uh, uh -oh. Caller, are you there? I am still here. Hello. Hi. Hey. 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 Hi, Ryan. Oh. I was just wondering if, <laughs> I, didn't if uh, I don't know who Ryan is. I was just wondering if that <laughs> guy on the panel with the with the curly hair is he single? <laughs> <laughs> For you, yes. 
<laughs> what the heck? Oh, oh my it. goodness. <laughs> oh, man. Wait, does that mean I can pose lady then? Hi, guys. What? <laughs> 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 no, this isn't Ryan, Tessa. Was. Sorry. Oh no, hypothetical. Oh, yeah, somebody. Okay. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh my word. Oh my god. <laughs> I, I don't think that's, that that's the response the this n- unknown caller expected. <laughs> yeah. so, so, a little switcheroo. This going unknown on here. mystery caller. Yeah. Yeah. Right, right, right. <laughs> <laughs> yep. <laughs> Guy with the curly hair. He could have been talking hi. about just, Shane. Just wanted to say hi. I don't have any curly hair. Hey, bro. Guy. We love you. Yeah, good to, good to hear from you, man. What, what are you do? doing? Get back, get back to the show. I oh. want to see who wins. No! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I have a feeling it's going to be Tessa. No, maybe not, but probably You're yes. the winner. Someone called and asked if you were single. No one's called and asked if I was single. That's happened <laughs> that like true. three times, and I'm yeah, baffled. <laughs> baffled. Baffled. But I, I will say yeah, that uh, this is one of those. <laughs> right. Just as a well, final note for Neonomicon, if you're interested, yeah, the, uh, Ralph at uh, Alternate Reality keeps it in stock. So He's if us. he doesn't, and he if Dude. if they don't have it, they will order it for you. They keep a nice little Alan Moore. Yeah, Mark, go look up, corner. go look up Providence too. That's like a sequel or a prequel or something. It's another series by the same guys. Oh, really? Okay. All right, I'll, I'll, I'll tell you later. I'll hit you up in the DMs or something. It's all right, another, yes. Whole book. So my DMs. DMs. Wait, hold, hold on. Wait a minute. <laughs> you going to ask me DM. if I'm single and slide in Marcus's <laughs> DMs? <laughs> it's the glasses. I'm, it is. I'm, I'm in all of your DMs. It's true. Uh, it's true. Okay, Providence. Got it. I will true. definitely check it out. I love Alan Moore, so uh, anything he writes, I'll, I'll be on board. Me too. Show is wild. I love you. All right, love you, buddy. Uh, <laughs> Mr. Caller. <laughs> Anonymous. Bye. 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 Into the West Comics After Dark, everybody. <laughs> is that what that was? More I've never heard a bye that sounded so much like a like a this way. Bye. Yeah, yeah. Bye. <laughs> that was hot. Yeah, that was- <laughs> The wave was That's in our bye. Huh? Is there you? Bye, everybody. All right. <laughs> Uh, Frank, I've lost all train of thought. Frank is building. <laughs> there was a train. There wasn't. Frank, <laughs> choo choo, baby. Fra- Frank, you better bring it because there's uh, some competition here some that is hitters, yeah. leaving you behind, as I can see. I present to you issue two of Ultimate X Men with by the great Peach Momoko. Uh, nice. If you're doing it just on art alone, the art is incredible. We all yeah. know that um, she does something to us. You know that her roots are in. <laughs> Horror, uh, whoa, hi, horror, <laughs> horror <laughs> artwork. I got a little excited. Uh, that's her background, <laughs> her history. If you ever look at any of the variant covers that she's done for a number of uh, Marvel and DC books over the years, basically yeah. anything, the cover art is like ridiculous. Um, I'd say that this was a story when, the, when I read the first issue, I wasn't sure. Because okay. it felt like it was telling like two different narratives, right? And they're sort of like contrasting each other. This is obviously it's going to be armor based, the character armor uh, yes. based. Um, but it feels like it's it's starting to go somewhere. Okay. And where I would have given like a, a series like three or four issues and then been like, all right, you know, whatever. I really like this. It kind of brought me around. So oh, I, I enjoyed it. Um, I'm nice. excited to see where it goes. Uh, I know that within this Ultimate Universe, we're obviously going to get an Ultimates uh, series pretty soon. Yeah. Like in the next month or so, we're going to have the Ultimate series. We kind of have like the groundwork or the outline they don't for what that's going to Jeff Loeb read it. Yeah, what's, yeah that'd be great. <laughs> what it's going to look like. And um, Ultimate Spider-Man has been great. Ultimate Black Panther has been pretty solid as well yes absolutely. and i think with this i think this is the one that i was probably the most concerned about and right. it seems like it's sort of it's going to be like a kind of a slow burn kind of like a rick remender type of thing like burning mm-hmm. to uh finally get to this mm-hmm. point where she's building out this team yeah. and i'm excited to see what happens with that but the artwork alone this is, is, oh. is amazing peace yeah. does a, did an incredible job and speaking of artwork tony fleeks you know we've talked about in the last few weeks uncanny uh, valley with right. uh, books like Feral, Local Man, um, Stray Dogs, uh, David Wachter and uh, Walker and Tony Fleeks are with this six issue. This is a Boom Studios uh, joint. The story is about Oliver and uh, the, relationship, the relationship with him and his mother. Um, there's a lot of callbacks to like some Dragon's Lair and uh, He Man type of things, but it also ties in sort of like a Looney Tunes vibe. And Tony Fleeks does a really good job as far as his storytelling with there is always sort of like a tension build 
and he and he's able to do this when they get towards the end of the story. Basically, Oliver is from two different lineages to where one is part of the actual world that we know, and then part of the uh, part of it is the animated world. And when you get towards the end of the issue, it's starting to connect those dots. He draws. It's got like some kind of sad moments as well because he <laughs> he does like a family tree and he just draws himself and his mom <laughs> because he doesn't really have the connection to the rest yeah. of the family. So it's kind of like like sweet and cute, but it's also kind of sad. So. Um, but and there's these crows that are following Oliver throughout the, the book, and um, all I can say is that it's 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 it feels like it's going somewhere really cool. This is a six issue limited series, feels like that's what we get from Boom Studios for the most part. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And um, I'm excited to see where it goes. I've really enjoyed uh, this first issue, and I can't wait to read, read more. Uh, uh, Dan Mora <laughs> has done Dan Mora awesome. has done a variant cover for it. Um, now you're talking my language. Uh, Fleeks and Forstner, obviously, uh, Don't doing, done some artwork with that. It's <laughs> it's been great so far. I, I'm enjoying this um, a lot. And of course, uh, the thing we've been talking about every week. It seems like we'll be talking about it all the time for the rest of the summer. Blood Hunt is coming. Yo. You better prepare yourself. Yeah. The vampires blood, are taking over. Hunting. You met my blood McKay, is ready. Right? No, my, my hunt is ready. <laughs> what, what, blood is uh, in- all right. Yeah, that's right. Oh man. Man. Did you meet Jed McKay <laughs> at, at the con? No. No. Oh, okay. I thought you did. No. Also, uh, shout out to Crocodile Black uh, from our guest two weeks ago. Uh, that I cannot wait for everybody else oh, to read that. Oh, yeah. It was yeah. great. That, yeah. was, that was cool. Anyways, had to take really that in there. Yeah. That's, I can't believe that's, this. That's what I got. All right. Make a choice, Shane. I can't and believe this and is and happening. And it can't be Tesla. Is there a way to have a four way tie here? Because everything, everyone oh, brought was. I need pretty... to like pop my numbers. Can I just do this? Hey. hey. Yeah, Tessa wins. <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell you why Tessa wins because tell me why the the first book uh, I can't what's the first book called that Is has it because she's a redhead that's it no, well that too <laughs> like, uh, of course because she's a redhead but uh it's the first one. book it's with it that goes inside your brain the, what the name that sunflower the, yeah, sunflower that uh, that's fantastic of course uh, but uh, of course. Tessa wins, but strong second is Marcus and that Ghost Rider. Uh, and anything Garth Ennis does is fantastic. That art, that art is fantastic as well. Yeah. And then for the for Frank, I mean, come on, everything Frank brings in is is uh, nuts. It's it's uh, uh, new and fresh and cool, and that's what Frank does. He just always I'm does that because I'm so fresh and cool. Yeah, but so but, fresh and so clean, and then, clean. Yeah. Yeah, with the youth. <laughs> yeah, 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 I'm with the youth. With, <laughs> the, with the youths. With the youths. And then Paul is just Paul, but. I'd like, uh, first of all, I'd like to mention that I was the first person to bring in uh, Beneath the Trees where nobody sees. That is true. So, uh, right. I don't want to hear it. Did you win that week? I believe you did win that week. I believe I did. Yeah. Yeah. I brought in Tenement. That is true as well. Yeah, yeah. Look at you go. Paul, you're uh, winning in the people's hearts. You're the one that everyone's calling in for. Thank so you. So you don't need to win with Shane. Yeah. Fine. He's the people's champion. I don't Paul. know whose side, whose side <laughs> Tessa is on. I'm my own side. But I can't believe Tessa helped I'm you it. out. Yeah. But still, Te- Tessa wins uh, just because she's the best. One hey, of the best guests we've ever had. Good job. <laughs> It's absolutely phenomenal. Yeah, I'm actually, I'm actually um, glad that uh, Frank enjoyed uh, Ultimate X Men because I, I was That's on the fence one. after that first issue too. You know, I, and I expected stuff to be kind of abstract with yeah. Peach Momoko. That's just her style. But uh, did, I haven't read the second issue yet. I have it at home. Didn't even but, look like a X Men uh, comic. It, was it, cool. it does. Yeah, yeah. it's kind of like what Tom King is doing with Danger Street. Like you have absolutely no idea who these characters are, and then you have to kind of do your homework or kind of look for clues. Oh, that must be the Spider-Man or, sure. Oh, that must be the armor, you know, that kind of thing. Some are more obvious than others, but yeah. Um, you know, I'm glad that he liked that. Cause that makes, that's reassuring for me. Cause I have a uh, issue to wait. I like when Frank yeah. likes things too. <laughs> yeah. I like Frank. Yeah. Yeah. Frank. Frank's cool. Tessa wins again. <laughs> <laughs> you don't get to pick a winner. Uncanny oh. Valley looks looks fantastic. Anyways, as well. continue. Oh, I also brought in new stuff last week. I'm gonna throw some. I know. Shit. I, I, oh, come <laughs> on. But normally nine times out of ten, Sonny is the guy judging these things, and he that's hates true. everything you bring yeah. in for some reason. <laughs> I could bring him fair. like a hundred dollars, and he'd be mad. <laughs> he'd be like, nope, <laughs> nope. I hate people. It, there's got a anyway. crease in this corner. Well, he's stuck my shirt. at an airport right now, so. Ah, that's right. Who's the Sunny. joke on now? Him, Mr. Sunny. Jet Setter. That's who. <laughs> Jet Setter is that stuck at the airport? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I love you, Sonny. <laughs> <So, laughs> you my dog, dog. Roof. My dog, dog. Roof. Roof. Um, roof. 
We're going to check out one more trailer. Oh, um, everybody right, seems so. to be uh, excited about anything new Star Wars that we get. Mm. I showed you guys a trailer last week. It made you angry. But uh, we're going to watch a new trailer for... <laughs> it's, it's, uh, it make it's called... Yeah, the animated thing. Oh. And everybody... Oh. Bo- everybody I was thinking about the acolyte, People which I booed had to... me and got angry Ooh. and whatever. But this week, I think I'm going to surprise and delight you with... The new trailer for Star Wars wow. Outlaws, the open world game, the bounty hunters, and there's going to be oh. uh, all kinds of stuff. We're going to check out this trailer in just a moment. I think you guys are going to like it because, you know, you guys are, are hip and young and, and uh, <laughs> cool. well, not you, <laughs> but I mean, you guys are hip and young and you like Sorry, video I didn't mean games. To laugh. And um, <laughs> hip and young. We're going to try it. We're going to try this out. And um, I'm excited for this. I mean, I think it looks cool. Each of you represents some of the most powerful (laughs) criminal organizations in the galaxy. Do we know? Pikes, Crimson Dawn, Huts. It's a golden age for the underworld. The Empire controls every corner of the galaxy, but they're distracted by a rebellion that won't quit. It's an opportunity to make millions. This is, looks like video game animation. Hey, because it is the it's underworld. A, it's a video game. New we need it last. Really cracked the case there, Mark. What do you want, <laughs> Zarek Besh? They're new, <laughs> rich, <laughs> and lethal. <laughs> you crossed their boss, Slero, so and rude. now he wants you gone. Yeah. Was that mean, James? Rob's fortune. I agree. Buy your freedom. I'll, I'll let him have it. This job, it's a death wish. <laughs> I'm in. Me and my butt here. You live and die by your reputation. You want to survive? Know the players. You're new to this world. What's your problem? Come back when you're not. (laughs) Dabba, right? Look, don't try anything. I got a whole crew surrounding the fool. King, we're skipping that part. Knew he'd be it. For about as long as I can remember. Just been me and Nyx. Doing what we have to to survive. What a little cutie. It's like Shane's dog. It's my one shot. <laughs> at <free end. laughs> yeah. But if we're gonna pull this Beautiful off, skin. landscape. We need the right crew. Okay. And the right ship. They never work. Yeah, it's always the lobby. I hide. The ships. Because you were one of the best hunters in the Outer Rim. Excuse me? She's more connected than you let on, Slero. Bess is mixed up in something bigger. The oh. Outer Rim is a dangerous place. <laughs> Everyone is fighting for their piece of the galaxy. But all I want is to live free. So I'm gonna risk it all. Hold on, Nick! Star Wars Outlaws pre order available now. Oh. Hey, it's a video game. That scared me. It's <laughs> 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 gonna be good. So, what system is this for? I think it's for um, like it, whatever like you got. The Atari. The Atari. I think if you have an Xbox <laughs> or a PlayStation, Windows it should be fine. City games, so. <laughs> Get the Atari at Cloud City Windows so you can 95. play Star Wars Outlaws. We're on our way. Uh, Windows 95. That that does look really cool, though. <laughs> and I think, yeah, Windows 99. Uh, it's going to be an open world, kind of like uh, the Assassin's Creed games, which is the same developers, which oh. both makes me a little trepidatious. Oh, but my also. Yeah, like Assassin's Creed. Not after the 19th one. <laughs> um, right. PS5, but, Windows, Xbox. Yeah, so whatever things. you got, you, you should be able to play it on. Um, but it does look very cool. I think my only cons- my major concern is that Ubisoft has like a tendency to make big worlds that are super empty and don't have a lot to do in them. Mm. So that would be my major concern. And But if oh, they land there, <laughs> um, yeah. I think that this is going to be really cool. And I'm actually, and I haven't been playing a lot of video games for a while actually probably since Come on, bro. I finished playing Elden Ring um, but I'll play this like this looks really cool unless it gets like thrashed by like reviews and stuff then I'm not spending money on it but they need, they need to bring Kyle Katarn back Jedi Outcast was oh. like one of my favorites both on PC and the first sure. Xbox 
That and that story too of him is so compelling that they should make that into an yeah. uh, animated series the, or some sort of something. It's, it's yeah. confirmed that the character that uh, uh, what's her name, Amelia Clark, the character that she plays in Solo, is gonna be yeah. in this game. She's oh, gonna wow. be one of the main characters oh, in this cool. game. We're not main uh, characters, but major characters. She in it. Inter- yes, that. Mm-hmm. She be in it because right. the uh, the crimson uh, crimson dawn. Yeah, yeah. the crimson dawn. She, that's what she's a part of. Oh, uh, that okay. thing that oh. they name drop. So she is apparently going to be in it. So okay. I, I am. Yeah, that was a big. That was a big uh, event, mini event that kind of spanned over Darth Vader, Star Wars, all the Star Wars comics. Kind of like the bounty hunter war of the bounty hunters sort of thing that they had yeah. going. So yeah, I was wondering when they were going to actually revisit. The Crimson Dawn. That was actually some oh, pretty compelling yes. stuff. Why is everyone hey, throwing Tessa up, so many compliments? It's good now. It's because she's, she's great. Paul. Okay, <laughs> yeah. sorry. Thank sorry. You. All right. <laughs> yeah, Paul. Oh, Can more people call and tell me I'm pretty, please? <laughs> no, no kidding. Hi, right, guys. Is the cute one single? <laughs> hey, That's, hey, that, hey, was, hey, that was disingenuous, and I'm not a fan. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. It only happened like five weeks in a row that somebody was calling what about it. You think I'd be. Not only that, but her background, she has some really sexy absolutes back there. I, what see, you got? I see some Kirby abs- fourth world back there absolutes. I see some Doom I Patrol. Have original art right over oh, here. Oh, snap. Teasers. And then, I don't, don't have any right now. But, yeah. yeah. Snap. Very nice. Anyways. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, I think that video game looks pretty cool. It, yeah, it does look, cool. looks it does cool. look Shane, fun. are you going to play it? Yeah, man, why not? What else am I doing? <laughs> Tessa, will you play it? I mean, I would definitely prefer to watch Shane stream this, because, again, that would be cool. <laughs> if we could get Shane wow. to stream playing any video <laughs> game. Oh, bro. I'd die. Bro. Oh. bro. He might die. Mad, bro, Madden tournaments. <laughs> We used to be doing Madden tournaments all the time. Back in the day. Were you, we also, were you nice at Madden? No, we, no, we, were, we were also horrible. drinking a lot. Yeah, <laughs> so... <laughs> it didn't so, go well. It didn't go well for a lot of people, especially if you weren't good at it. <laughs> if you weren't good <laughs> yeah. at it. And we were, and Frank and I were good at it. Then I we, you guys we, were brutal. Oh, we clown you right out of the room. You, how many, a lot of people how many controllers did you go through? Did you go through any controllers? Or were you no, good about that? We weren't the one through. We, we, weren't, the we ones weren't breaking our... I wasn't going to break my You guys were the guys with me? Other people were... Other people were pretty right. aggressive, but this is this is a the, you know this is before the every glitch in the world uh, consumed Madden, and now nobody can play the game. And you know what I mean? Now everybody can't stand Madden. I don't play Madden, so I don't know what you mean. I understand, but Paul. I I will take your authority on the. Uh, have, have you ever played it? I, I played, played Madden. It. I was never. I was really good at two K, and me sure. and Murad would play two K like until like three in the morning sometimes. Right. I couldn't do Madden. I was terrible. Terrible. Oh really? Yeah. yeah okay. I hadn't played a, a sports game since Sega Genesis. Yeah, so yeah, you know, yeah. what, Mutant League football and all. <laughs> <laughs> Holy crap. And then you got NBA Mutant Jam. League football at uh, Cloud Jam City? Super yeah. Nintendo. Nice. Yeah. Way back. Oh, that was good. We do have a Sega Genesis, so, you know. Do you hey, really? Nice. Yes. We get them in all the time, yeah. I love it. Yes. Keep a bunch of like, retro systems and games and stuff, yeah. When yeah. WrestleMania comes to Vegas, come down to Vegas and bring that Sega Genesis with you, and then we can all play. <laughs> bring your <laughs> Sega. Or bring you could, Sega. like, buy it. <laughs> Oh, that is true. true. <laughs> yeah, they're not expensive, my guy. I mean, I'm you, not... can with, you, can, you can play with that Sega over there, uh, Shane. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. Sega oh, yeah. Over Quan's got one. I'm not saying you got an NES over there. I'm not saying because and I want to play Sega yeah. Genesis. I'm just saying this Tesla can come down, hang out. Just ask yeah. her to we come can... hang with you. I Don't try to bribe her with. Uh... Down for like a Vegas con, but if you want me to wait until it's in WrestleMania, like it's fine. It's cool. Oh yeah, no kidding. Tesla, he be... wants you to fly down here, give him the Sega Genesis, and then go <laughs> and home. Go home to the tri-state area. For Shane, I'll do it. Hey. I should have known. Oh, You're the man. sweetest human being alive. I um, must admit. Tessa, uh, our time has gone by uh, rather quickly. It always seems to. Um, <laughs> this uh, is the greatest show ever, I must admit. I'm loving this show. I don't know why. Well, your spinoff is coming soon. Your holiday special. <laughs> You're into the Shane comics. We'll do a we'll do a holiday special for you. Like Fourth of July week. We'll just have you in the studio by yourself. Absolutely. And- Annual Quan won't even episode. be here. Yeah. The power won't be on or anything. Your zero <laughs> issue. Yeah, your zero episode. <laughs> uh, Tessa, how can they find you in your social uh, worlds? Uh, well, use your dial-up. Uh, <laughs> I've got an AOL disc. 
Oh, oh God. Sweet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah you can find down. me. Oh, actually, they got rid of like AOL Messenger a little while ago. Uh, Shoot. Um, That's zero. But uh, I'm on Instagram. Tessa is a nerd. Period in between each word. So Tessa period is period. Uh, period nerd. Yeah. On YouTube, Tessa period. is a nerd. TikTok, Tessa is a nerd. Threads. Mm. I'm over on Threads. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, You're threading. I like talking about comics with people. So you should come hang out with me. I also have a Discord now. Which is very fun. Oh, so. oh yeah, Discord is really happening. I'm hearing. <laughs> yeah, how's that dial up? <laughs> Sounds sarcastic at all, did it? Oh, what? Oh, he sarcastic. wasn't kidding. <laughs> Marcus. Sounds sarcastic. All right. Right. Marcus, <laughs> what do you have for the people? Marcus, what you got? What's happening? What's happening? Oh. Not not a whole lot really. All right. Oh, come on. <laughs> How are the Golden Girls? <laughs> Golden Girls are the great. highlight of his week was hanging out with me. That's right. Oh, like, that is right. right. Oh. Yeah, yes, absolutely. There it is. There it is. <laughs> um, I know there's. I'm very a... offended you were late to hanging out with me. Honestly. Yeah. I, you know. It. I. He had work to pick up his shirt and his glasses. Yeah. He was, was stuck was with good. Betty. Yeah. It was, yeah. It, was rough. it was rough. Rough. You know, public service. It's it's rough. Um. April the twentieth, the weekend of April twentieth, we got front row card show, right? Is it, next, is it, weekend, next weekend, next twentieth, twenty first, over there at the Rio Hotel. Hotel. Yeah, front row card show, front row, front row card, card show. show. <laughs> I got it. So, got got, it. if you're so it. if you're in the Las Vegas area, go on down to Rio Hotel and Casino and uh, stop by huge uh, co- uh, convention area in, in there. Uh, and I yeah. mean. Trading cards, not just comics, but trading cards. You got Funkos. You got Pins. all kinds of collectibles yep. in there. It's, it's really a lot of fun. And, uh, yeah, sing, sing, you know, just come out and hang, you know. Come hang. Yeah. Shane, if you can uh, come off your high horse down yeah, to no, uh, your uh, uh, I just want to super celeb. Right. Welcome. I just want to say uh, uh, shout out to Shimson's Comics. Barney is one of my favorite people on this planet. Nice. Um, Alternate reality comics with Ralph. They are uh, Ralph is one of my favorite people on this planet, and I love everybody on this show. I love Tessa. I love Marcus. I love Paul. I love Frank. I love Sonny. I love everybody that's associated with anything. That's the way it is. Because I am officially drunk. I was gonna say. Yep. Ah, it's happened. Thank you, everybody. Uh, Paul, yeah. how could they get a hold of us when we're in the tri-state area? You can get a hold of us when we're in the tri-state area <laughs> at Into the West Comics on Instagram and TikTok, which there will be quite a few qu- uh, clips, quips, clips coming clips up this clips week. Clips. Uh, you can find us at Into the West Comics on any, pretty much any platform, audio-wise, listening to the show. And if you're not able to catch it live, which you wouldn't be hearing this right now, but you, you know, you never know. You never know. Um, you can He's check us out there uh, at Into <laughs> underscore Comics on Twitter. We talk comics. You'll see sometimes we post about what we're going to talk about on the show or what we're reading on Twitter. Um, and then. Uh, Sonny's Feet Finder. Oh, that's right. Yep. And that's too. Sonny's Feet Finder. Into Sonny's, Sonny's feet. Toes. I forgot I we had a TikTok. I, I, I would have added it to the latest little. In Toes of the West. Uh, In Toes of the West. That I did. Yeah. It's uh, okay. everything that goes up on the Instagram goes up on the TikTok as well. Okay. Um, but follow both or you're not our friends. Yeah, man. Quit messing <laughs> oh. around. Shots fired. <laughs> Paul ain't and single, I, by the way. Ain't single, Quit messing around. Uh, the, the Unabomber one still takes the. I like that one. <laughs> yeah. The oh, that yeah. We again, we want to. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's when I had the hood. Yeah, yeah again, we so want to thank Tessa for taking the time to uh, hang out with thank us you. and just give Shane's ego a little boost. He thank needed yeah. it. You, man, you really did make my night. He thank really you did so need much. that. Yeah, you guys can all tear him down for the next few months. <laughs> yeah. back, you know? over the next ninety minutes, <laughs> nothing, we will. Can, nothing can hurt me. Nothing will hurt me. I'm telling you that right now. But again, we really do appreciate you taking the time to hang out with us, and uh, we hope to have you back soon. We can talk more yeah. wrestling and more comics and. And everything else in between, more more Sega games. Yeah, good seeing you. All again. those Thank things. Thank you, Tessa. Thank You're you guys fantastic. for having me. It was great yeah. hanging out with you. It was phenomenal. Yeah, we appreciate phenomenal. it. And again, just to reiterate what Marcus is going over next weekend, the top front row, <laughs> top show card shop drop hop. No, the top front Don't row stop. card show, Make front row card show at the Rio Hotel and Casino. Three hundred vendors. Everything sold out. Wow! All really? the okay. every table sold That's out. Cool. They're going to yeah. have sports collectibles, sports cards, Pokemon, comics, and probably some video games, pins, are, all are kinds of stuff. This? Funko. Are going to... We're going. Okay. <laughs> are we going? I'm just saying. I just want to make sure everybody's going. I'm just. <laughs> <laughs> I wish I was going. I got my 
my own local con this weekend. Oh. Yeah, yeah. Oh, dude. John's what? Comics with Kids says, you rock, Tessa. Keep up being... Just keep up John. being Everyone real. Everyone should go follow John's Comics with Kids. If you're going to follow me, yep. follow John instead. Oh, yeah. That's cool. <laughs> we right. talked to John about coming on soon. We're probably going to have him on pretty soon. Oh, right on. We gotta, oh, we've got to coordinate that, connect the dots. I'll go to any show he's on. Nice. Very cool. All right. Very Dang, cool. all right. But, uh, Tessa, we appreciate yeah. you. Have a great evening, and we'll talk to you soon. Bye. And, uh, Bye. You know, thanks for Bye. loving Shane. Bye. Thank you. <laughs> Thank we'll you for you loving soon. me. Um, have a have a great evening. If you guys haven't sad. done so already, please add us to your pull box. We would appreciate it so much. Share, subscribe, like, love, live, laugh, laugh live, laugh, 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 love. Love you, Eva. Stay golden. <laughs> love you, Eva. Please love you, Eva. Us, well, yeah, there you go. Love Tessa you, Eva. Tessa. Thank you, Tessa. Please let us come back to your house, Eva. Good night. Come back here. Uh.